Today we are going to be making some indigo, which is a pigment which was probably used to give your jeans its blue color. For the preparation, 9 grams of 2 nitrobenzaldehyde, 90 milliliters of acetone, 18 milliliters of 2 molar sodium hydroxide solution, distilled water, ethanol, and 45 milliliters of butyl methyl ether are needed. The 2 nitrobenzaldehyde was weighed out first. About 9 grams were used. You shouldn't try this at home, but if you do, make sure to look up the dangers of each chemical you use yourself. The nitrobenzaldehyde was added to a beaker, followed by about 90 milliliters of acetone. The acetone is one part of the reaction, but it also acts as a solvent. About 45 milliliters of water were added. While stirring, 18 milliliters of 2 molar sodium hydroxide solution were weighed out and the magnetic stirrer was turned on. When the sodium hydroxide solution is added, you immediately see this color change. This is actually indigo being produced. If you are interested in the reaction, pause the video right here. I don't dive any deeper into this reaction mechanism because it was only a side project. We let everything stand for about 10 minutes to make it somewhat fully react. Afterwards, a vacuum filtration was performed. The product was washed a single time using 45 milliliters of distilled water. For the second wash, 45 milliliters of ethanol were used. And for what I hope would be the last wash, we used 45 milliliters of butyl methyl ether. The ether serves two purposes. Firstly, it removes some more contaminants and secondly, it evaporates really fast, leaving a dry product. For some reason, a lot of the product was sucked right through the filter paper. Maybe the pores were too big. We ended up with a poor yield, so keep this in mind, because this might be the reason for it. The product contained some sort of brown contaminants. I added it to a beaker, followed by more ethanol. It was stirred, allowed to stand for 10 minutes, and then the second vacuum filtration was performed. It made this really interesting effect. I simply had to film it. Fine particles created this strange pattern, which was full of motion. Once the filtration was finished, another ether wash was performed, and this is the dry product. It looks almost black, but I can assure you that it stained many things with a dark blue, which was hard to wash off. We ended up with 1.5 grams of product, which is a poor yield. But this was only a proof of concept anyways. The most interesting part about this pigment is not that it is blue, it is that it can sublimate. Some indigo was packed into this test tube, followed by heating it. Under the right conditions, you will be able to see its beautiful vapor. When you look closely, you can see a hint of purple right here. Once the test tube was being heated up from a different angle, it became even more obvious. This reddish purple vapor appeared. If you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe for further chemistry content like that. I'm going to upload even more preparations very soon. 